Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Wing Dante card on your Behringer Wing to get you 64 channels of inputs and outputs for your Behringer Wing. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the Wing Dante card, like I said, has 64 channels of in and 64 channels of out on Dante. So this is the card itself. And when we look at the front of this, we can see that there's a primary and a secondary port. We have access lights, as well as the backside has our connector for the expansion card. And then when we take a look at the actual surface of the card, we can see our Brooklyn 2 chip, which is a 64 in, 64 out for Dante. Now, this card works on a sample rate of either 48K or 44.1 kilohertz. So those settings would need to match what your console is. So if we go to setup, and we go to audio, we can see that we have our clock rate of 48K, which is what this card is going to be set up as if we are running 48K. If we change this to 44.1, we'd want to make sure this is set to 44.1 for the sample rate so it works with the console. When you do have a Dante card installed on your console, you can still have the sync source be internal. Because when we set this up to our Dante network, we are actually going to have this be the grand master on our clock source for the Dante. If there was some reason that you didn't want to have this Behringer Wing be the Grandmaster clock source for the Dante network, we would want to have this set to our sync source as the Wing Dante card instead of it being internal. But in this case, because this is going to be my main audio console on this Dante network, I'm going to have my internal clock source on my Behringer Wing, and then this is going to be the Grandmaster for the Dante network for clock. But let's go ahead and actually install this. So to install this, we would want to turn off our console. We would then remove these two screws on either side of the current expansion card that you have on your console. You would then pull that expansion card out, put this new one in, replace the two screws, power it on, and you're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Once you have that completed, we wouldn't want to plug in our network cable into the primary slot on our expansion card. And then once we've done that, we can go ahead and turn on our console. Once our console has booted, we will notice that there is a Dante symbol up in the upper portion of our console. Now, there's nothing that we can actually configure on the card, so I can't tap this and do anything. But if we go and look at our routing, we will see that we have our W Dante in. And so if we go to our sources, we can see W Dante in right here, and we can select from any of our sources that we have set on this expansion card and route it to any of our channels. Now, if you're wanting to route anything to this Dante card, we will actually have to use a separate computer with Dante controller installed on it. So I have my laptop also plugged into the primary network on this Dante card, and so I'm going to go ahead and do some routing now. So I have Dante controller pulled up right here, and we can see that I have my MacBook and my Dante card here. Now, the easiest place to go view things is to go to device and device view. And then we can go select the Dante device that we want to do the settings of. So we can go click my wing Dante card. And then we can see that we have 64 channels of receive and 64 channels of send. Now, on our transmit, we could go title these. So, for instance, 63 and 64, if I was wanting this to be my main left and my main right, I can label them as that. And then when I'm going and looking at any of the other devices, if I was wanting to pull these two things and route them, they would just pop up as main left and main right. We can also go and look at the status of this card and see the firmware version as well as latency if we have any connections going to this card. We have our device configuration right here, which we can rename our device if we choose to. And then we have our network configurations right here. Now, this card can either be set to a switched mode, which means that the primary and the secondary port will talk together and so you can extend more devices off of that secondary port if you wish. In a redundant setup, it uses the primary as the primary network and the secondary as a redundant network. And that way, if the primary dies, then the secondary network would pick up immediately. Now, if you are utilizing a redundant setup, so a primary and a secondary, make sure that you never accidentally plug in a secondary port into a primary switch. 
So when you are running these primary and secondary, you will need to have two separate switches, one network switch as primary and one network switch as secondary. And that way, if anything happens to the primary network, like the switch loses power, the secondary network will continue. But you can't plug in that secondary into that same network switch and expect it to work. In fact, a bunch of errors will start occurring if you plug in a secondary into the primary. So don't ever do that. But in this case, we can go ahead and switch it to switched if we'd like. And then it's going to ask us to reboot the device. So I'm going to press yes, and then I'm going to reboot and press yes. And after I refresh the status, we can see that this is set to a switched network. Now, if I want to actually connect any devices to my Behringer Wing via Dante, I would want to go to my receive tab. And this is what's being received on my Wing Dante card. And so I can go and select my MacBook Pro. And I have two channels here, one and two, playing audio. So I can go ahead and simply attach that. And now we can hear that audio is playing on my Behringer Wing. If I was wanting to route any more additional things, I could go and select maybe, say, 15 and 16, and I can drag those to 15 and 16. If I was wanting to duplicate these channels to a separate channel, all I would have to do is go drag 15 and 16 to another set of channels, maybe 24 and 25. Now, one thing to note about Dante and the expansion card that we have with the Behringer Wing, if I was wanting to adjust gain, I only have a trim, so I'm not actually able to adjust gain on any of the Dante devices on the network. If you had, say, a TO1608, you would need to use the Yamaha software on your laptop to be adjusting the gain of that device. But if I go to my electric guitar where I have this audio playing back on, and I go to home, and then I click on the preamp tab, we can see that I have a trim adjustment. And so I can trim this anywhere from positive 18 to negative 18 on this device. If you do happen to have any questions, please post them in the comment section down below. Also, if there's a video that you're hoping that I would make on either Dante or the Wing or any of the other mixers that are out there, please post that in the comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are going to be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day.